welcome back to Gretchen's Vegan Bakery. I thought I would give us all a break from pumpkin everything and switch it up with some light zesty lemon cupcakes with lavender infused icing. Make no mistake, this is no ordinary cupcake though. Today I have another new recipe for you. It's basically Giada De Laurentiis's recipe for lemon ricotta cake that I have veganized for us to perfection. I cannot stress enough what this addition of tofu ricotta does to this cake recipe. So even if you are a tofu hater, please hear me out. Just look at the texture of this cake. It is so moist, but dense and firm at the same time. It is totally jacked up with fresh lemon and lemon zest and a really subtle lavender buttercream. Okay, enough of me gushing about this cupcake. Here's how to make it. You will need vegan butter and sugar, two kinds of flour, cake flour and all purpose. And I write all about that on my website. So if you're sitting there going, uh, cake flour, what? Don't worry, I elaborate in detail about all the substitutions. There's notes for success and I offer changes that you may have to make because not everybody can get the same ingredients. Not to mention, I'm just an email away for all your questions. So if you haven't yet been to my website, uh, hello, who even are you? You will also need baking powder, salt, and I'm using a store brand egg replacer, and all of that goes into the flour. Now you may have noticed that I had a literal pinch of turmeric for color, but I doubt that it really did anything for the color in the long run. So add it or don't, and I'll probably skip it next time. The fresh lemon juice and the zest do a fine job all by themselves in giving this cupcake a nice lemony color. Next, I am also using aquafaba for an added binder here, and that can go right into the plant milk along with the vanilla extract. All right, now for the tofu ricotta. I use firm tofu that is slightly drained, but no need to press it. Just pop it right into your food processor and whiz it up until it resembles ricotta cheese. That's really how easy it is. Now, of course, we're not adding in all of the other ingredients to make a true tofu ricotta. That's already in the cake batter, which we are ready to mix now. So get the vegan butter and the sugar creaming on medium to high speed until it's light and fluffy. Now, due to the ratio of sugar to butter in this particular recipe, it's actually going to take longer than the usual four to five minutes to get to light and fluffy. This time it took closer to seven minutes minutes with a couple of stops along the way to scrape the bottom and the sides of the bowl. But once you are there, you are going to add in that plant milk and aquafaba mixture in about three additions, whipping really well in between additions to make sure that it doesn't break and you emulsify that aquafaba. Now you'll add all the flour all at once and mix it just until combined and no more than that. You're not making bread there, bucko, so just relax. Next goes the tofu, and I actually did a really terrible job of catching that on the video, but believe me, it's there. Slow motion replay, Tofu City. Next, the lemon juice and the zest, and then give it all a good whip. You are going to notice that this batter is way stiffer than what you're probably used to. It's not a pourable cake batter. This cake has the texture more like pound cake. And I'll say it again, that tofu edition got me like, I'm telling you, I'm about to start putting tofu in all my cake recipes. That's how amazing this is. Okay, okay, I won't. I know some of you can't handle the soy, but for those of us who can, it is on like Donkey Kong. All right, pardon me and my tofu excitement. These cupcakes bake up in like 25 minutes and the recipe makes 18. I only baked 12 of them and you know I ate that whole damn cake in the background. Now to hollow out the centers of your cooled cupcakes for the lemon custard. Oh, you didn't know these bad boys were filled with lemon custard. Girl, we are just getting started. So grab your socks and watch this. 10 minute stovetop lemon custard. It's the same recipe I used for my lemon meringue cheesecake recipe. And it is simply plant milk, lemon juice, lemon zest, sugar, and cornstarch into a sauce pot and bring it all to a boil. Add vanilla or lemon extract and that's it, you are done. Now just fill up those cupcake holes and now we have to make the icing. Look, I never said greatness on this level was going to be easy. Well, it actually is super easy. It just takes time. Now I'm steeping 
steeping lavender flowers with wolfberry flower powder in a small sauce pot. Now you can use lavender oil and purple food color straight into your buttercream for a faster and easier time. But I do love the color from this wolfberry powder. And I'm not going to show you the making of the buttercream recipe. I mean, we don't have all night here. And I've got five or six recipes to choose from on my website. So go ahead and make your favorite one. And at the last stage of mixing, add the cooled lavender infusion. Now, this is going to look broken because anytime you add liquids to your buttercream, you run the risk of oversaturating. So just whip it up vigorously and I promise it will come back together. Now, this color looks quite dark but as it sits it does get brighter so don't worry there and well that's it to sprinkle or not to sprinkle that is the question but the answer to these lemon ricotta cupcakes with lavender icing is yes and yes so go grab the recipe at Gretchen's veganbakery.com before you go I do hope you'll subscribe here to my channel a great big thank you to my patrons on patreon and my pals in PayPal for the continued support to keep this channel going the amount of testing and developing that goes into these recipes to make sure that they work out for you the first time and every time is not cheap. So thank you so much to everyone supporting. If you think you can help for as little as a cup of coffee a month, click the links below to find out how. All right, everyone, thanks for hanging out with me here for a few minutes each week. And until next time, happy vegan baking. Bye for now.